Give the people of Scotland a break. That's the message from the Scottish Conservative leader in a speech in London tonight. A speculation grows about a second independence referendum because of Brexit. Labour's Scottish leader is making a similar call. Well, yesterday, the former First Minister suggested an 18-month timetable for a fresh poll. And today, the SNP said the ball is in the UK government's court. Our political correspondent, Andrew Kerr, can tell us more. Coming soon, very possibly, to a country near you, IndyRef 2, the sequel. The former First Minister, Alex Salmon, said yesterday, another poll could be held in 18 months, with the future of the UK in doubt because of Brexit. But two party leaders are in London tonight, arguing the case for the union. The people of Scotland don't want more uncertainty, not when we've already got questions to answer over Brexit. They're asking the SNP, the Government of Scotland, to give them a break, to take the constitutional uncertainty off the table and get back to the day job they're being paid for, to improve our school system, look after our health service and stop desperately trying to leverage Brexit for another independence referendum. Scottish Labour stands firmly against the second independence referendum, but just because we're pro-union doesn't mean that we're pro the status quo. And what I would like to see now is a, a federal United Kingdom we bring powers back from Brussels to the Scottish Parliament. Back north for the SNP in Glasgow today, the impression is it's not full steam ahead. They want to hear what the UK government makes of their plan to keep Scotland in the single market. There will only be a referendum, we're only going down that road um, if we can't reach a compromise with the UK government. And we believe the compromise that's on the table um, could work very well for everyone. But assuming that the, the UK government um, is intransigent about that process and doesn't want to cooperate, then um, I think we're moving forward to, to the next stage. Politicians live by the polls. Professor John Curtis has been examining voting intentions since the EU referendum. On average, they point to a 47% support for yes, 53% support for no. Those figures, by the way, are exactly the same as they were in the months immediately prior to the EU referendum. So we are in a situation where still the SNP by no means can be sure of winning a second referendum, but equally, Theresa May cannot presume that, she, that Nicola Sturgeon would lose one if she were to call it. So maybe we should be standing by for another political thriller. Well, Andrew joins me now. Andrew, we've got the SNP conference next month, and that's being seen as a potential key moment on the road to perhaps IndyRef2. Yes, Jackie, that's right. It will be interesting to see just exactly what the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, does at that conference as she sets out her current thinking on Indy Ref 2. Now, she'll need to say something that will get the audience up out their seats cheering and applauding, but it might be something quite procedural. We have seen that before. We have seen the First Minister announce here at the Hydro at the October conference that she was publishing the independence referendum bill. So perhaps in Aberdeen next month she could seek permission from Westminster to actually hold the referendum to give it the technical name, that's the Section 30 order. Now, Miss Sturgeon needs to keep the pot boiling, but she doesn't want the pot to boil over because we've got the local government elections in May and she doesn't want perhaps talk of IndyRef 2 to dominate that too much. Well, for the pro-union parties making their speech and speeches in London tonight for the Conservatives and Labour, Ruth Davidson of the Conservatives is saying that uh, the Scottish the SNP must now stop this talk of a second independence referendum, give the country a break, she's saying, focus on the day job, as she puts it, she's saying as the SNP crank up their campaign bus, the case needs to be made afresh for the union. Thank Jackie. you very much, Andrew Kerr.